morning everybody today inshallah we will talking about spell and pronounce medical terminology my name is Ahmed Abdul Hamid Ahmed Abu Lainin I'm health science teacher uh, my principal Muhammad Hamid Farhad in grade 12 health sciences medical terminology lesson name spell and pronounce medical terminology Spell and pronounce medical terminology learning outcomes spell and pronounce medical terminology correctly learning objectives by the end of this lesson learners will have completed activities for spelling medical terms practicing saying medical prefix theory and activity focusing on syllables start the activity can you tell what they are? Think. Spelling medical terms. It's important that you can spell and pronounce medical terms correctly. If you need to communicate with a medical professional, this will make sure that you are giving the correct information. If you make a mistake when writing or saying medical terminology, the medical professional might not understand you. It could lead to mistakes being made in treating the patient. من المهم إن أنت تنطق المصطلحات الطبية بطريقة صحيحة. If you need to communicate with a medical professional, لو أنت حابب تتواصل مع medical professional like doctor or nurse, this will make sure that you are giving the correct information. If you make a mistake when writing, لو أنت ارتكبت خطأ أثناء الكتابة أو أثناء التحدث مع medical professional, the medical professional might not understand you. ربما إن medical professional ما يفهمكش صح. والكلام ده يؤدي إلى it's called leads to mistake being made in treating the patient الكلام ده يؤدي إلى طريقة خاطئة في علاج مين المريض spelling medical terms medical words اللي هي الكلمات أو المصطلحات الطبية can be difficult to spell بتكون صعبة في النطق بتاعها it's important to check that words being used in document ممكن أنت تبحث عن هذه الكلمات في الدوكمنت such as medical record reports are that correct ones or using medical dictionary will help you ان لما انت تستخدم المصطلح القاموس الطبي هيساعدك في استكشاف هذه الكلمات uh, pronouncing medical uh, terms it's important to know about syllables and word stress when using medical terminology why to make sure that the words are being said properly علشان تنطق هذه الكلمات بطريقة صحيحة practice saying the suffix your teacher me will pronounce each of the medical suffix and their meaning from the list, repeat each one after your teacher, like amia, repeat after me, amia, amia, genic, as it is, logi, ses, pathy. All of these is suffix. Amia, suffix meaning what? Yes, blood condition. Genic meaning what? Forming. Is meaning what? Condition or disease. It is meaning what? Inflammation, logy meaning what the study of cis meaning what state or condition, bathy meaning what disease or disease process. In exam, the suffix the suffix amia refers. To mm -mm, space. Amia. Refer to what? Yes. 
blood condition refer to blood condition okay and the suffix genic refer to excellent forming the suffix logi refer to study of the suffix pathy refer to disease or disease process this slide is clear okay syllables Syllables break a word into different parts. Some words have one syllable. These are normally short and easy to say. Some have two or more. Syllables بتقس بتقسم الكلمة إلى أجزاء مختلفة. عندنا بعض الكلمات لها one syllables والبعض الآخر بتكون عبارة عن كلمة واحدة وتكون بسيطة وسهلة بنطقها. مثلا كلمة pain like pain one syllables okay like sad like sick one syllables okay some have two or more two or more like like hmm, painful pain full pain full two syllables okay look at the word apple this word has huh, two syllables apple if see if you see the word apple you can clearly hear the two words طب انت لو طقت الكلمه بطريقه صحيحه هتسمع ان هي عباره مكونه منين او مكونه منين من جزئين uh, other example like doc -tor. doctor how many syllables excellent two syllables doc -tor. as you can hear when you say that word doctor has excellent two syllables Here are some examples of medical terms that have a different numbers of syllables. هنا هجيب لك بعض الأمثلة عن المصطلحات الطبية that have different number of syllables. يعني في عندي كلمة لها لها syllables واحد وعندي كلمة لها أكثر من syllables اثنين وثلاثة وأربعة and so on. Okay. Number of syllables pain pain. How many syllables? One. High. High. One syllable. Sick. Sick. One syllable. Painful. Painful. Two syllables. Hyper. Hyper. Two syllables. Disease. Disease. Two syllables. Painkiller three syllables abnormal three syllables infection infection three syllables number of syllables like painful huh? two syllables painkiller painkiller one two three three syllables abnormal three diagnosis one two three four four Medication, one, two, three, four. Just neurosis, one, two, three, four, five, six. Painkiller, three. Dermatitis, four. Medical, three. Okay. Activities. Medical words. When saying and spelling medical terms correctly, it's important because it helps a medical professional understand you. True or false? Who can answer for my question? 
yes, true. A syllable is break a word into the different parts. Syllables be as seven camel exam yes, true. Okay, word stress in the, in the English language. If a word has more than one syllable, then one will be given more importance. This is known as a word stress. This means that, يعني الكلام ده, this means that one syllable is said more clearly and strongly than the other. The pronunciation of the stress syllable is clearer. In the word apple, the first syllable is stressed. Apple. Knowing which syllable is meant to be stressed will help you what? Will help you? Yes. Top say the English word properly. This is word stress. Okay. Sometimes words are spelled the same, but the stress in a different part of the word. This completely changes the meaning of the word. The word present has two syllables. Present al antahadr da laha itnin syllables. If the stress is a place on the first syllable, like present, it's mean to be present when you answer yes. When your teacher takes the register, you are present in a school. لما المدرس يأخذ الحضور أو الغياب في المدرسة. When you answer yes, أنت حاضر yes. The word change when the stress in one the end syllable, like percent, percent, the stress في الآخرة at the end, on the end syllable percent. This mean to present something to someone, your teacher might present you with a certificate for good behavior. This is word stress. Now, parts of exam. Question number one. Pronounce is to say a word or speak correctly, true or false. Syllable is a part of the word that is created by a vowel sound. True or false. Question number three. Leukemia has one, three, four, five syllables. Question number four. Arthritis has two, three, four, five syllables. Hyperthyroidism has two, six, four, five syllables. Radiotherapy has two, six, four, five syllables. انتظر اجابتكم في التعليقات في الكومنت وبالتالي هرد على اجابتكم ان شاء الله وبكده نكون انتهينا من الوحدة الاولى الميديكال ترمونولوجي احنا درسنا فيها what is medical terminology is the language used by medical professional who speak English. The rest of the what is the importance of medical uh, terminology? Okay. Number two, medical prefix and suffix and root word and the common and vowel. عرفنا البديات البريفيكس prefix يعني بديعة و suffix يعني لاحقة و root word اللي هي أصل الكلمة و common and vowel درسناها. بعد كده درسنا ال medical record reports. الميديكال ريكورد ريبورتس بعد كده درسنا الدرس الثالث اللي هو بيتكلم عن 
الثالث في الميديكال ريكورد ريبورتس الدرس الرابع ريسبوندينج تو ميديكال انستراكشن الدرس الخامس اتكلم عن سبيل اند براونس ميديكال تيرمينولوجي وبكده نكون انتهينا من شرح الوحده الاولى اتمنى منكم الاشتراك في القناه وتفعيل زر الجرس والتعليق على الفيديو وشكرا لكم على حسن استماعكم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته